Hi everyone, so in today's episode, we will learn about platform event flows. So let's create a new flow and let's understand uh, how we can use them, what are the benefits and uh, what is the usage of uh, platform event flows. So let's click on the new flow button. So this is the flow uh, that we are going to create today. Uh, let's read what it says. It launches when a platform event message is received. This auto launch flow runs in the background. So uh, as you all know uh, by now that every auto launch flow runs in the background. So nothing special for this flow, but it launches when a platform event message is received. So uh, what are platform events? Okay, first we will understand that. After that, we will understand about platform event messages. So platform events are secure and scalable messages that contains data. Platform events exchange event data in real time within the Salesforce platform as well as between Salesforce and external platforms. Platform event is based on event driven architecture which is unable which enables apps to communicate inside and outside of Salesforce. Okay. And what are platform event messages? The messages that are contained in the platform event are called platform event messages. Okay. So, uh, what does this flow do? Right. So whenever we will receive a platform event message that we will select inside this flow, uh, this flow will work and uh, do the task that we will ask it to uh, do. Okay, so let's create it uh, without any further ado. And after that, only I can tell you about it in detail. Okay, let's uh, select free form first. So first of all, uh, what are we going to do in today's example? Uh, basically, uh, whenever a flow error occurs, you must have seen if a flow breaks uh, like a screen flow breaks or any flow breaks there is an error that appears okay like the unhandled error occurred uh, type of message appears so whenever a flow fails a platform event that is called flow execution error event that occurs and that contains the error message about a uh, like why the flow fails what were the details and all of that okay so uh, whenever the flow fails uh, due to any reason the platform event called flow execution error event occur and uh, it contains uh, the message and the details of the error okay so what we will do is uh, i have already created a screen flow in which i have uh, intentionally added something that will uh, cause the error okay so now what we will do is we will create this flow in which we will uh, first choose the platform event so in this uh, flow we will choose uh, which platform event will trigger this flow to work okay so for that we will choose flow execution error event after that we will click on done that is it that's all we have to select in the start button now uh, the flow execution error event platform event will uh, trigger this flow but now what will happen in this flow that we will uh, tell it okay so what i have done is i have created an uh, cust a custom object uh, name flow error log and in this i have added some fields that are already there in the flow execution error event uh, platform event uh, if you want to know why i have chosen this field and where are the details you just have to uh, google flow execution error event and the first link this is the first link developer.salesforce.com and in this link you will get all the fields all the api name of those fields that uh, that are there in the event okay and i have taken the fields from here as well so these are the fields as you can see and they have description as well like element api name the api name of the flow event that was executed when the flow execution error occurred element type error message event date event start date event end date every uh, field is there so i have just selected some fields uh, from this uh, document okay and i have added it here now what will i do is uh, in this flow i will take a create record element and i will just insert a record in the flow error log object about this flow error okay so let's just drag and drop it here and log the error how many records we want to create of course one record for one error uh, how to set the record fields let's say use separate resources and literal values 
and in this we will add our flow name we will add our object name which is flow error log and here we can uh, easily set the field values let's add one by one element api name i have kept the name same uh, to the platform event so we don't have to check the document again and again so uh, the uh, element api name of flow error log is the element api name of the record variable now let's add again element type error id let's add element type and record dot element type after that we have error id record dot error id after that we have error message event date let's add it quickly error message event date record dot event date and we have flow error name that's it uh, so in flow error name I'm just adding the element API name as well flow error name record dot element API name that's it we have added all the variables and all the values and let's just connect it that is it that's all uh, we have to do in the platform event trigger flow now what will happen is whenever any flow in your organization uh, remember any uh, flow that is there in your organization that is on activate mode if uh, that occurs any error any unhandled error so what will happen is uh, it will come to this flow and it will trigger this flow what will happen in this flow is it will create a record in the flow error log object and uh, after that we can just check the flow error log and we can check what was the error and what causes that flow to fail okay now uh, how we will check if this is working fine i have already created a flow for that which is this So in this flow, what I have done is I have just uh, created a screen flow in which uh, we are asking the user about the first name, last name and email ID. And after the user will fill that, we are just creating the contact according to that first name, last name and email ID. But uh, now you will see uh, why this flow will throw any error. This is working fine. This is absolutely correct. But what are we doing is, uh, as you all know, the last name is mandatory field in contact object. But what I have done is I have added email and first name, but I have skipped the last name field intentionally to throw the error. Okay. And I have just uh, saved it and activated it and added it in my uh, lightning app. Okay. So what will happen is uh, when we will go to the lightning app, which is flow series. Here's the app. So here's the app that I have uh, created to add just my screen flows and to show you all the examples. So this is the example that we have created example set one. This is the flow that we are talking about. Now in this flow, what I have done is uh, I have added first name, last name and email. Let's just enter it. I am adding the last name here but that is of no use because we uh, have not added the last name field in the create record okay and I'm adding my ID here now let's click on next button and it will show an error so this is the error that we get handled fault has occurred in this flow and uh, please contact your system admin for more information so now uh, it throws an error now after that to check if our flow triggered we will uh, go to the flow error log and we will check if there is any record created so here is flow error logs let's go there And 
and this is the record that is created with our uh, platform event flow uh, as you can see in the details uh, we see element api name like on which object it was working and what was the api name and element type was flow screen uh, one second I just went to edit mode the error id that is of no use i mean we can't just understand it uh, let's read the error message which says this error occurred when the flow tried to create records after that it gives the details required field missing required fields are missing last name you can look up the exception code value in the this documentation okay so if you want to check the uh, exception in detail you can go to this uh, link as well but uh, as the lms says the required field was missing last name was missing okay so this is how you can just uh, go to the details of your errors uh, while your flow fails uh, using the platform event uh, flow okay so that is the use of the platform event flow but uh, there is one thing that i want to tell you uh, about this flow that uh, uh, if you can see there is just a screen element and a create record element after that but uh, if you know what is a fault path if you don't know about fault path just google it try and understand why we use fault path in flows okay so what i'm going to tell you is if your flow has a fault path fault path uh, means if the success path is not working it will go to the fault path okay so if your flow has the fault path then this flow will not work because uh, the platform event will not be created if your flow has the fault path okay so that only will work if your flow doesn't have the fault path like this example but your but if you're using a fault path then uh, the flow execution event will not occur and your user will just see the fault path screen that you will add in your flow manually okay so just keep that in mind if you want to uh, log your errors don't use fault path otherwise uh, your uh, error will not be logged in the object that you want to log okay so that was it that was today's example first platform event triggered flow for you if you want any task to happen when a particular event will occur then you can use platform event trigger flows okay that was today's example i have some ending notes for you please keep them in mind and uh, read them if you have any queries you can just reach out to me on uh, social media links like uh, linkedin or twitter or you can reach out to me on my email or other than that you can reach out to me on youtube comment sections as well i'll see you in the last episode in the next episode till then bye bye take care and keep learning